Hi everyone, it's Marcia from Close to Home with March's Block. Can you believe we're at the end of March? I can't. Um, today's block will bring back memories for you because there's what? A lot of pieces. And here it is. It's called a Libreth and it has multiple pieces but it makes a great block um it has different components <clears throat> excuse me and the first would be that the kaleidoscope is one of the frames and in the center circle so to speak then you're going to have your choice which is my purple and i used it in the center the green, which is my choice too, is used as another frame as well as in some half square triangles to make the weaved look. Also, the background. So my background is around the outer edge and within the half uh, square triangles. So to start, you would cut out of your kaleidoscope fabric that I give you 14 two and a half inch squares these are going to be used to make the frame and the inner then your purple you're going to cut four at two and a half by two and a half the green you're going to cut four at two and a half by two and a half which the two and a half inch size is used for the half square triangle. And then you're gonna cut 12 two by twos. And that is part of the frame, just as plain blocks. The background is 10 at two and a half by two and a half. And you also cut 20 two by twos for the outer. So, <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. The um, cutting is quite normal, easy, straightforward. Most of the blocks are made up of half square triangles. <clears throat> if you've never made half square triangles, you're gonna layer the two parts together, the top and the bottom as, let's use this as an, an example. This is um, the main fabric kaleidoscope and this is one of my background. I place the background on top, layer them, draw a line down the middle, and sew a quarter inch on each side, and then cut it up the middle. It yields two. So when you see that you're cutting 14, you're actually using half of what you need because each half square triangle you yields two pieces. So on the directions, it shows you, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, it shows you the um, half square triangles, layering them, pressing them, and then the most important thing you're going to do, you're going to take your half square triangles, once you are made them, once you have made them, and you're going to measure them and make sure they're a two inch square. Some of them came out a little extra and uh, none were short, but take your ruler and make sure these are a um, two inch square before you sew them together. Uh, your life will be easier. Next, I took so once you make all your pieces, I took a picture to show you. I laid everything out on my cutting table. I did take a picture of it so that I made sure they were in the right order before I started sewing. So once you've sewn all the strips, you sew them together and you end up with your labyrinth block. Our next block will be on April 30th. Uh, remember you must bring in the March block to get the April for free. I hope you're enjoying all the blocks. I hope to see you soon. This block will be available starting 
as soon as you see it on YouTube. Thanks.